Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over what a moor pipette is and how to use one. These are the two moor pipettes that you will encounter in the lab. You have a 1 milliliter moor pipette and a 10 milliliter moor pipette. The easiest way to visually discriminate between the moor pipette and the volumetric pipette is that the moor pipette, as seen here on the 10 milliliter moor pipette, has increments every tenth of a milliliter and major increments every milliliter. This differs from the volumetric pipette in that there is no set amount that you must dispense. You can choose whether to dispense 1 milliliter, 2 milliliters, 5 milliliters, 5.4 milliliters, etc. This is the 1 milliliter more pipette. As you can see, it has increments every 0.1 of a milliliter. Don't forget to read one more decimal place, therefore to two decimal places, when using these pipettes. You use a more pipette the same way you would a volumetric pipette. You grab the pipette bulb, secure it onto the top, compress the bulb, and slowly and gently suck up the solution into the pipette. Make sure the suction is careful and controlled as you don't want to get any liquid into the pipette bulb. When nearing the top, quickly and carefully remove the pipette bulb and place your finger over the top to prevent the loss of too much liquid. One method to only dispense a small amount of liquid is, with your finger on the top, slowly rotate the pipette until the liquid drops down to the desired mark, as shown here. When taking readings, always make sure that you get to eye level to read the meniscus. When dispensing the liquid into your target glassware, make sure that you do it carefully and slowly as you do not want to overshoot your mark. In this example, I dispense 5 milliliters, so therefore I go from the 1 milliliter mark to the 6 milliliter mark, again, rotating it carefully to only dispense the right amount of liquid. Please be very aware that the bottom of the pipettes do not have increments or markings. So, for example, Filling it to the 5 milliliter mark and letting it drain completely, as such, would not be an accurate measurement of 5 milliliters. You must only dispense a controlled amount of liquid between these first and last markings. As always, good luck and have fun!